Hey guys, welcome to my Gas Gas channel. Alright, welcome to sunny Arizona. It's going to be like 90 degrees today. <clears throat> today I'm going to talk to you about a counterbalancer mod. If you've been following any of the posts and some of the videos that I've done on uh, Thumper Talk, um, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Uh, this mod was suggested to me by Richard Wilson from House of Horsepower. And what it's going to do is it's going to take some rotating mass off of the crank bouncer that Gas Gas uses on the 300s. I don't know if they put these on the 250s because um, I've actually. Well, there's a 250 behind me, but this is an old 97, so it has the old uh, uh, counterbalancer in it. So I don't know if they put them on the 250s or not, uh, on the, the later models. But I know they do on the 300s. There's really not a whole lot to show you, or even talk about uh, on this mod. I'm going to show you what it is. I have a few pictures uh, from before, what it looks like mounted to your crank, and then after, uh, what it looks like mounted to your crank um, if the on the engine so I have the original counterbalancer which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you and show you okay. I um now I'm not a machinist so I had mine sent out uh, to be done I had it done by Rob Kosler from Moto Lab dirt bikes so he not only does suspension work he is also a very competent machinist uh, so he did a great job for me. He even put it up on his Instagram. Um, so let me show you what that is and let's go over some of the pictures and uh, what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Um, this mod, the counter counterbalancer mod. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> this was suggested to me by Richard Wilson. And uh, why he suggested it to me is because, well, I live, I live out in the desert. Uh, I wanted my bike to rev a little bit faster. I wanted it to uh, keep up with the big bore four strokes. Um, so this is something he suggested to me. He lives in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, I don't, I think Oklahoma is kind of flat. So <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> this is the, this is the piece that I'm talking about. This is the counterbalancer, and, and this is on the crankshaft, and this is going to be on the right side of the crankshaft, and um, this, this picture I'm going to show you right now. Okay, and you can see this was on that, that crankshaft, and you see how thick this thing is. And I'm gonna guess this weighs. I, I'm saying, I'm thinking it weighs a pound, or maybe even a little bit more than a pound. And now that's a lot of, of rotating mass to have on that crank, and, uh, and that's why these the gas gas bikes do so well. And they're always referenced to as being a tractor, you know, and the real tight, slow going single track. You know, yeah, they are tractors, absolutely. <clears throat> so. This is what I did. Um, I took this. This is a different version of this. This was off an 07. Now this is off my 12, and I think they're on the 13s, 14s, uh, on the 15s. They're gonna look like this. And this is on the 300. This I found on a 250. 07 250. You notice it's, it's a half shape. So it is cut off. This is from the factory. So it looks like a half, well, probably a three quarter uh, circle. But the inside piece of it is <clears throat> the same diameter. So it fits on the crank. It's the same width. You know, maybe not, maybe not this piece, but the inside was the same, same width. So what I had Rob Kosler at Moto Lab Dirt Bikes do when I sent this to him, and by the way, I got this off of eBay. I think I paid 15 bucks for it because somebody was parting out one of their one of their gassers. <clears throat> so, and the reason why I did that is because if I go and if I ever wind up selling my bike, I can put this back on, you know, because somebody may not want that mod. Some you know somebody else may buy it um, and, and want it. <clears throat> 
to act like a tractor again and not rev really fast. So um, here's a picture of what Rob did. So all Rob did is just machined out the center of this and just turned it into basically a big washer. Now you can't you can't just take it off and run it without it because you notice there's a there's a, a Woodruff key slot here. Okay, you have to have that on there. Okay, because there is a, a, a space in there that this needs to take up. <clears throat> it's just the way the bikes are designed. Um, when I was talking to, to, to Rob about doing this. Uh, he said he had to get back to me. He was going to talk to a, a gas gas guy here in Arizona. I guess he used to be um, I don't know, big a, part, a big parts supplier or something. I, I forget his name, but he um, I guess he was a big gasser guy. Um, Rob actually tried to talk me out of this because um, he thought my bike was going to vibrate a little more. The 300s are known for vibrating quite a bit. Um, so he, he kind of tried to talk me out of it a little bit. Um, so that's why if if it did vibrate too too much I had him just use this one that I picked off of eBay and I kept, I kept the original okay so I can't put that back on and and that was another reason why I, I didn't want to machine the original the one down and take this off so if it did vibrate um, more than it does I just put it back on <clears throat> um, and as it turns out I don't feel any more vibration than I ever did before. They're, they're, the only difference is this bike revs super fast now. Um, so I've taken all this rotating mass off of that crank <clears throat> and it, holy crap, it revs really fast. So um, if you contact Richard Wilson at the House of Horsepower in Oklahoma, he can do these for you. I don't know what he charges. Um, I had Rob Kosler do mine from Moto Lab Dirt Bikes, and he's in Prescott, Arizona. I just sent it up to him. It took him, I don't know, like a week. I know he had to uh, set up a jig for it, which um, he charged me 80 bucks just to machine that out. And to me, it was worth it. Absolutely, totally worth it. Oh, uh, one, one thing I uh, forgot to mention is the the bike <clears throat> actually still lugs like you would expect a, a gas gas 300 to lug <laughs> okay there you have it all right guys thanks for hanging out again uh, i know this was a real short video um but again uh give me some comments if there's anything that you guys could suggest uh, that you want to see done or that you want to uh, maybe talk about if there's any mods that that you guys have done that i don't know about I would like to know about them and uh, we'll, we'll get them out there. Um, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's keep these videos going. Uh. It looked like something off from the new Star Wars. to talk about.